Hey guys, welcome back. BDC Carrot here. We're back with a weekly recap for the 19th of April, 2017. The current character challenge is for Classic Scorpion, and that's a repeat, so that's for the next week. The required characters for that are Nightwing, Catwoman, and Aquaman, who are bronze, bronze, and gold challenge character if you're looking at the lowest or easiest method of getting any of them so yeah. kind never, of a mixed bag i'm never a big fan when they make it harder to get because the point the cost of entry for somebody who's at beginning is uh is too high yeah having a challenge character as a prerequisite to get a challenge character seems kind of ridiculous yeah. uh all right so speaking about classic scorpion i've never been a big fan of the scorpions in general because they're all all a little bit slow uh classic scorpion has the best stats so the highest uh, attack. His defense might be the highest, but I think one of the other Scorpions, because of the 8% bonus boost on the health per promotion, might have him beat. I'm not sure. But I, out of all the passives, I actually prefer Mortal Kombat X Scorpion's passive over the other two. So, it's still he's okay. I mean, you know, if you're starting out, that's why, in my mind, it, it's so much more important that it's, he's available and accessible to the starting guy starting out, because yeah. they're not Sometimes the challenge characters are not the greatest. Well, and it just sucks if you have no way of actually getting a challenge character just because you literally need another challenge character to get it. You can't have that with any degree of consistency. Otherwise, new players are just never going to be able true. to get yep. everything. Yep. Uh, the multiplayer online gear is the Gingo Fruit, which um, evolves into or upgrades into the Gingold Soda. Yep. I think it's really cool that they're not making us wait for this. My guess is, because we've only had it offline my guess is that based on how i play and having to face the tantu totem lot i'm going to be using this as one of my main tank gears yeah but i'm going to need to play around with it a bit to be sure which one it's going to replace because the problem is with the current tank setup with astro harness and two of the fourth world gear set i swap out either the fourth world gear set i'm giving up a revive yeah and the astro harness the invulnerabilities are really handy especially if you control the first one by keeping the guy off screen yeah. tagging him into eat a special but to make a long story short if you haven't upgraded to 2.20 from 2.19 now would be the time because you never know with online multiplayer stuff uh when or if it's going to come back how long it's going to be before you have a second crack at it yeah and it's a piece of content that you don't want to miss out on because it's at least pretty good yeah i think it's a pretty good defensive yeah. Uh, gear yeah all right so in the store we've got a uh, a couple packs. There's the Dawn of Justice Superman cash pack. Uh, we're never a big fan of paying cash for these, but it's at least a hint that maybe the next challenge repeat is going to be Dawn of Justice Superman. He's a lot of fun. Yeah. We like him because, you know, we like to bust gears. Mm -hmm. um, the other pack that's n revolved back in the story is the Alien Invasion pack with Lobo, Martian Manhunter, and Darkseid. It's not a great pack. None of them have particularly good passives. So Lobo's got immune from power drain, which is half of Static's passive. Yeah. Um, Martian Manhunter has pretty low damage, decent health. Uh, the only thing that I like about Martian Manhunter is that his gear, his signature gear, has his extra ability to uh, have unblocked attacks. Mm -hmm. And Dark Side's passive by boosting up bronze characters, it's not that useful in multiplayer. And we've gotten into it before, but basically because multiplayer the matchmaking takes the, the boost into account already, so there's no advantage. Yeah. But it's it's okay if you're starting out, because that one gold character makes your bronzes more effective, right? So for offline play, it's pretty yeah, good. Yeah, it's a decent grinding yep. passive, but yep. not great for much else. Survivor is still messed up in Android. It still shows Lux score gears on the main page, and is still giving Suicide Squad gears. So we can't get Fourth World, League of Assassins, or Lux score gear sets for yeah. anybody who's looking for them. Yeah. Which sucks. It does completely we've got a bit of good news though uh we're seeing lots of reports that people are finally having their accounts unsuspended so very likely this is only for those who are suspended for having tantu totem or master's death cart early yeah so if you've been suspended now would be a good time to try going online again yeah and even if you weren't suspended for that i mean you can always check i guess it doesn't hurt yeah for future reference though it's probably worth noting that the uh only the only Tantu Totem season was back on, started on the 8th of March, so it's been up to six weeks, more than five weeks and up to six weeks for Warner Brothers support to fix this, that, which makes it the baseline. 
for how long it takes them to unsuspend an account, even when they're the one that makes a mistake. Yeah, and that's when it's made on a larger scale. So that's not even right. when it's something kind of like a one-by-one -one basis. Right, and it's pretty obvious, too. Yeah. So the expectation, I guess, is that if you're going to ever be unsuspended, be prepared to wait about five to six weeks. Yeah. Okay, moving on to current glitches, just remember that every working glitch is explained in a video as part of the playlist you can reach by clicking the I in the top right corner of this video. We're Android only, so we're only able to confirm these glitches for Android, and the playlist will be consistently updated, so you can check back and see all the currently working right. glitches as long as we're still making these Or you videos. can check in weekly with us for this recap. Yeah, that's true. Either one works. There is currently no glitch for power credits. The previous glitch for power credits is patch in 2.20, uh, basically any glitch that relies on the technique of skipping fights but getting rewards for the fight have been patched. So that's power credits, breakthrough, farming XP, what right. have you. Right, the glitch to get your season rewards early still works, and since the Gingo Fruit is a first run gear, this is the first time it's in, if you get it early, bare minimum, don't take it into multiplayer online. And in my opinion, it's still best to not play Injustice until the season's over, yeah. except offline with no internet connection. Mm -hmm. um, and I guess the related point is that some people are triggering early rewards accidentally still, and if you want to try to avoid this happening out of your control, one suggestion I've got would be to log in through settings every time before you go into online play. So no matter what happens, if you ever have to click online battle, go to your settings first, if you're logged in already, log out and log back in. If you're logged out, just log in through mm -hmm. there first before you go online. Yeah. The breakthrough glitch to give you repeated playthroughs is still working. And we've cut and pasted a comment from a viewer in the description uh, who has a potential solution for people who are having trouble playing the extra breakthroughs. Unfortunately, we can't confirm whether or not this works since we're not having the same issue. But you can go ahead and check that out if you're having trouble performing the glitch. Right. The regular and the alternate challenge reset glitches are both still working for Android. They've both been tested and confirmed on Classic Scorpion. Um, the airplane mode slash refund glitch is still working good for both packs that have random drops, also known, I guess now, as loot boxes, yeah. and also for last laugh tickets. Mm -hmm. Time shifting still works in Android for unlimited survivor play and energy recharges. Uh, again, as always, return your clock back to normal before you finish. Mm -hmm. Um, free energy without having to watch the video probably still works. I, one commenter confirmed that it does. If you still have the working button for free energy, we still don't. We haven't come up with a solution yet. We'll let you know if we ever find something that will help ungray out our button. Yeah, and we've got a comment from Dragons952 in the description for iOS users who are having the same free energy button grayed out issue, which again, we cannot comment on. Right, because we are clearly non-iOS. Mm -hmm. uh, promotion glitch, where you can promote characters that are still locked out of your store. Hasn't had the right conditions for us. We haven't been able to test it since update 2.14. We're leaving the list until the time when the conditions are actually right and we can confirm that it doesn't work. Mm -hmm. And to conclude, we have a Patreon. And if you want to support what we do with more than your views, you can go ahead and click on the avatar at the bottom right corner at the end of the video or go to patreon.com slash bdckr. Mm -hmm. uh, big thank you to Alberto Jr. Camarillo who continues to support us at the top tier last word I profit who's supporting us at the your message here tier and Lane and Daniel Simonson who are supporting us on the credited level yeah so there we go thank you guys so much for watching we'll see you next time Komoda, Komoda.